Republicans are finally going on the offensive. On Tuesday, Republican Rep. Mark Meadows announced that he is planning on submitting criminal referrals to the Justice Department against two to three people related to Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS is responsible for conducting the fake and bogus opposition research against President Trump in relation to Russian collusion, which ultimately produced the fake and phony Steele dossier. Poll, would you like to see Judge Janine as our next Supreme Court Justice? I can tell you that there are two or three individuals that we believe could have potentially given false testimony to Congress. We have been looking at that, reviewing not only the Mueller report, but comparing those to transcribed interviews that might have happened in Congress, Meadows said. I do have great concerns on the role, not just Fusion GPS, but those associated with it played early on, and how was that used or not used as it relates to this investigation, Meadows also added. Check out what the Daily Caller reported, Fusion GPS was hired in April 2016 by the law firm representing the Clinton campaign and DNC. From there, Fusion hired former British spy Christopher Steele to gather dirt on Donald Trump and his possible ties to Russia. The result was a 35-page report that now appears to have contained false allegations of collusion between the Trump team and Russian government. The special counsel found no evidence of a conspiracy between Trump World and the Kremlin to influence the 2016 election. Though the dossier appears flawed, the FBI relied heavily on Steele's reporting for its collusion investigation. The bureau went as far as citing the report extensively in applications for surveillance warrants against former Trump campaign adviser Carter Page, voter poll. Should Obama be arrested for illegally spying on Trump? Obama's FBI knew from day one that the dossier contained fake and misleading information, but they still decided to use it because of their hatred for Trump. House Republicans have strong reasons to believe that Fusion GPS founder Glenn Simpson lied during his testimony in front of the House Judiciary Committee in 2017. The Daily Caller added. Republicans have claimed that Simpson lied when he claimed he met with Justice Department official Bruce Orr only after the 2016 election, but Orr testified on August 28, 2018 to a congressional task force that he met with Simpson on August 22, 2016. Republican Texas Rep. John Ratcliffe said on October 14 that he believed Simpson was in real legal jeopardy over his congressional testimony. Or served as Steele's handler after the election because the FBI cut ties with the former spy. Orr's wife is Nellie Orr, a Russia expert who worked as a contractor for Fusion GPS from late 2015 through September 2016. She also testified to a congressional task force made up of members of the House Oversight and House Judiciary Committees. Paul, do you want Trump to pardon Julian Assange? That is certainly major news that should not be taken lightly. Thank goodness we have strong Republicans in Washington, D.C. who are not afraid to go on the offensive. The Democrats spend all year trying to ruin President Trump, so it's nice to see Republicans fighting back against corrupt members of the Democratic Party. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Related. Rush Limbaugh says this one Democrat can beat Trump in 2020 related, Donald Trump slapped Nancy Pelosi with a lawsuit that made her head spin, you might like let's block ads. Why?